My balls are gone. Alrighty, now I'm gonna get my balls gone. Oh yeah! Woo! That shit's cold! There. Timer going? Yep. Oh, I can slide right now. Slide it in, baby. Slide it in. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking cold, right? That's cold as shit! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another special episode of the Strubbing Bubble. Whose shitty idea was this? I'd rather be hot and humid. This is fucking cold. This is our. <laughs> Summer Bikini Beach Party Special, because it's like 95 to 100 fucking degrees out. We didn't feel like sitting in the house. Well, I didn't feel like sitting in the house, and the lovely Miss Ariana decided to purchase this awesome swimming pool for us. Good times. Uh, I am the host this week, the fat, hairy, shirtless man, Ron. I don't even know what episode it is. 52? She's got it! Don't, don't trust me. Don't trust um, me. I, I am the host this week. Out. I watched it. And but was it that, the last one? Oh, oh. Yeah. 52. We are on episode 52. I'm bullshit. That's pretty good. These are my lovely co-hosts. The amazing boobs. <sighs> I mean, Missy. And then the, the amazing and beautiful amazing Ariana. <laughs> the, the, the beautiful like, no boobs. Nah. <laughs> you can't see your butt. <laughs> it's not good. That's right. There you go. But Ariana is uh, pre-gaming herself a little late in the game, and that's okay. That's true. Um, right. We took a, a nice uh, week hiatus for a little summer vacation. That's right. We're back. And um, I'm not sure what Ariana's got going on over there other than trying not to be cold. Uh, there's, like, dirt on the bottom, and it's, like, annoying me. <laughs> it's because you have well water. It's okay. I know. That's why the water looks gross, if you can see the water. If you can't, you can't really see, see the water, it. it's You can see it, but you can't tell it looks gross. You just see if you can't see the water, it's crystal nice. clear. Um, I went to a uh, really awesome brewery over the weekend, and I'm mixing it up so all the beers are mysterious at this time. Because the one that would have been the mysterious wasn't the best, but the other two are fucking on point. <laughs> so, um... Did you just fart? No. <laughs> There's no bubbles! Don't... Don't pee in my pool. <laughs> I was thinking that would be really funny to announce that I was going to pee in the pool. I might have to to warm it up. Like, man, this water just got warmer. Ron, same rules as the couch. Don't shit on the couch. Don't shit in the pool. Oh, I can pee in the pool? Don't no. pee in the pool. <laughs> I'll pee in the pool and make it warmer. Ah. All right. So um, pick a koozie, ladies, and we will get started with it, whichever one you well, want. Dos Equis always has to be last because it's tradition. Oh. Dos Equis is, is the shitty one, one that I don't... I was going to say, do the Dos because it always has to be last, and we're going to, like, you know, be... Dos I did quirky. put the one that I care for least in. We can do that. We can do that. Well, then, let's do the one that you care for least. Let's do that. Bud Light or Bud Light? Bud Light okay. or Bud Light? We're going to do Orange Bud Light first. Orange Bud Light? <laughs> no spilling beer in the pool. Whoa, bro. Whoa. Yeah, it's that kind of party. We got nifty little Smurf glasses today, which are really cool because she's got the the clumsy. I have hefty, and he's got Papa Smurf. Yep. So yeah, me Ooh. and clumsy go together pretty well. And if I pour too much, we've got cans behind. Ooh, yay! He's got extra cans. I brought the extras out. Shit, it's gonna really be beer for Wednesday tomorrow. Hold on a second. So we got. Don't pee. It is okay. I just want to get. Ah! Hide your butt crack! Hide your butt crack, dude. Where's Missy's pencil? That's right. Damn it. Ariana. We were talking about that at work today. Your glass, please. This smells really, really yummy. Ah, it doesn't feel Ooh. quite as warm out here as it was earlier. So right, we probably could have done it inside because it's evening time it's and seven thirty. Also, the cooler pool. Oh shit, that smells like marshmallows. It smells like Lucky Charms marshmallows. There is no, more of this if you want any more. You drink it out. Kind of hot shot. Yeah, I can. See. Rice Krispie treats. <laughs> you almost said it there for a second. Rice? Nope. Krispie treats. Nope. You about said it, then you stopped. I heard you about to say what it is. Rice Krispie treats? Nope. Chocolate milk? Hot chocolate. She said that already. It's hot chocolate. I said chocolate, but you said hot chocolate. Oh, I thought you said hot chocolate. No. 
This is Southern Tier Brewing Nitro Hot Cocoa. That's really good. It is good. Ten percent. Imperial Milk Stout. I dig it. I got this bad boy when I was at the brewery up in Cleveland last week. Wait, did weekend. you say what the percentage was? Ten percent. I don't know what my maybe it's cold water or something, but it's I'm having a hard time listening right now. <laughs> but it's, it's it's getting better now. I'm not so cold anymore. I'm like getting. I'm starting to be able to sit down and shit. It's kind of fun. This is a uh, ale with cocoa powder, chocolate marshmallow flavors added. Mm, it's still delicious. I can smell the marshmallows in it. It's good shit. I'm tasting marshmallows now that I've uh, started drinking more. Remember the Rice Krispie Treat cereal? That's what this smells like Ooh, to me. Ooh, that was good stuff. Do they still make that? I haven't been able to find it. Probably. I don't know that they do. I haven't seen it. They Google that shit. Try to to Amazon it. I really want to pick up Lil, but I think she'll freak out if she sees the water. Yeah. She might. <laughs> scratch, scratch. So how the hell are we doing, ladies? Doing really fucking good. Pretty damn good after a nice vacation. I swear I thought I had something funny to say. I don't. I definitely don't. Uh, okay, no, not yet. So I went whitewater rafting. Oh, yeah. And it was like a day trip, so we were like on the water from, I think, about 9 in the morning till like 4 in the afternoon, roughly. <sighs> And it was fun, man. But like we got to the first rapid and it was like, I guess it's like class one to five is what you're allowed to go in. Like class six is basically Niagara Falls and you're gonna die. Oh shit. So you basically you can go just one step below Niagara Falls. And that's awesome. So we got to the first one and it was like a level one. And he's like, I'm gonna let you guys get out and get like a feel of like what the, the least is. And so, He's like, you don't have to, but you can. And I'm like, I'm definitely getting yeah, out. There we go. That's the rest of the way. All the so way I get way. out, and he's like, you just float. You, like, put your feet, let your feet go forward, and you just, like, float, whatever, you know. And as soon as I get out, like, it looked fine when you're on top of it, but as soon as you're in it, I'm like, I, like, breathe in fucking water. <laughs> and I'm sitting there going, <laughs> and then my fucking water shoes were coming off. And I'm like trying to swim and I can't fucking swim because my water shoes are falling off and shit. That's so awesome. So I'm like the last one getting to the boat and I'm having like, I'm trying to take my my shoes off my feet because, you know, they're just like falling off and I don't want to lose them, you know, because we have like the full day ahead still. And That's good stuff. So yeah, like I'm swimming, trying to take the shoes off my feet. And I think he said it's like a hundred foot underneath some of those spots. Like you can't touch anything. Right. right. Oh yeah. So I'm like taking my shoes <clears> off <throat> and trying to swim to the boat. And I'm like, everybody's already almost to the boat. And I'm like, way the fuck back here. And I get my shoes off and I can't swim because I'm like holding my shoes in one hand and like trying to swim. <laughs> like, like if I would have inhaled water, it probably would have been okay. <laughs> but like, I'm sitting there like with water in my lungs, like trying to cough this shit up. <laughs> I would have put my shoes on my feet and just, ah! It's like, remember that time you almost died? No. <clears throat> That's so funny. Yeah, I don't want to drown. And they were like talking, you know, we'd get up to the rocks. And it's, co it's funny there because they're like, they have names for all these rocks and shit. And it's like, ass lick rock or something. Not really, but it's like, you know, they'd be like, dog lick rock. And it looks like a dog lick in his ass or something. That's what good stuff. But <laughs> that was an actual thing. But they had like doobie rock because it looked like, you know. And they, then they had like, they had one called Barbara Streisand because it looks like her nose. And That's funny they shit. Had, like Col Colgate and Dentine because you like floss in between you want to floss in between them or something I think is what it was but it's just funny because they just have like these real literal names for the things like they would have back when you know people were discovering shit yeah. except for it wouldn't have been Barbara Streisand and it'd have been like oh, that dumbass like <clears throat> they would have named it after somebody back in their time and would have been making fun of them <laughs> the dumbass with a big nose that's funny. I so, like it. I'm not like a huge water fan. Like I don't, I mean, I can go, I can swim. It's not, you know, but I don't like, I like to be able to touch the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a huge water fan, but I decided but, to go yeah, white water I'm rafting. I'm definitely going white water rafting. <laughs> hey, you gotta face your fears, man. <laughs> yeah. That's good stuff. I got that, that, I'll, I'll give you that. Gotta face your fears, it's cool. It's like that time we went uh, kayaking, um, got drunk and, uh, I lost my glasses that one time because I couldn't get over that rock. That was cool. That's great. We lost you. You dumped. You got in your kayak and you dumped immediately. You're like, la da 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 da. Blah, you, I, it's, yeah. I've never done. I've never kayaked before. I They're really unsteady when you're I trying can, to get in. They're very very I can, unsteady. I yeah. could see that. 
And they do tip. Yeah. We lost a lot of shit that day. I've been canoeing yeah. before. Uh, a hoodie. Dude, we should do that sometime. It is. We should. Oh, over in um, Indiana. Where is it? That's where oh, we went. Uh, white, white, it's called Whitewater. White white water. Whitewater, but it was like near Brookville, Indiana. Kind of like Brookville. They allow you to bring alcohol. Uh -huh, that's what I heard. Because me and my friend Amy were talking about that. Because I had, they, they sell koozies that are on a neck lanyard. But the thing of it is, I tried it and it just immediately goes upside down. It's, so, like, you would just have to tuck it in. Yeah, well, like, yeah, I, I, what was it? I brought like a uh, half pine or pine or something of uh, like, I think it was Jameson. Pro yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was like a pine or half pine of Jameson, and I was just working on that most of the day. It's like a, is it what, a three hour trip or something like that? Yeah. Those are good. They had people that were on canoes, people that were on rafts, and people on yaks. Good stuff. Yeah, like, I've been canoeing before, but I've never been kayaking. I'd like to go kayaking. So, anyway. We're going to go on about this southern, not to interrupt Ariana. Yeah. I just, have we done this before? We've had no. southern tier we brewing. We had a hot cocoa, but I don't know that I we've thought had we had that. a nitro chocolate we, southern we, tier before. We've had a couple southern tiers. I actually had Ariana send me the list because I wanted to be sure we didn't have different. those before. Um, so this is close. the nitro blackwater series. I don't know why blackwater. It's just because it's, it's just dark, black. but it's nitro, so obviously nitro stouts has got those little bubbles, so it's got that nice creamy flavor to it. I wish every thing did this. So, so for me, it, it's creamy, but it wasn't very um, bubbly. Well, the that's nitro, the nitro. That's the nitro bubbles being all tiny. So, unleash nitro. Pour into your favorite glass or drink this. Drink from this can. Alcohol, ten percent by volume. Color black. Body creamy, heavy. Bitterness, low, moderate. Volume, 9.6 fluid ounces. We had Made a, with lactose sugar. We had a nitro s'mores, and that probably tastes similar. Yeah, but. it's probably. It's the marshmallows in both of them. But I think we've done a hot chocolate before, too, maybe. We yeah. had a hot chocolate sure. that was uh, actual, like, spicy chocolate, I think, with, like, a pepper in it. Mm. That might be right. I think I remember one of those. Because that, that was good. like some of the decision process. When Oof. I went up there to the brewery, I was um, not intending on driving since we took an Uber there. And I had their flights are five. And I had like two flights worth of shit. And then they also have uh, quote unquote craft bourbon up there. I almost fell on my face. <laughs> my knee got stuck in a hole in the bottom on the fucking ground. But they, they also oh, had uh, craft that. bourbon up there. And I had a couple of their craft bourbon, so I was feeling pretty good. <laughs> that would be really good. Um, they had a uh, hopped bourbon, and we'll just say that hopped bourbons, um, yeah, it was pretty good and uh, lit at that point, and it still tasted like crap, so let, let's uh, stay away from hopped bourbons. Tasted plasticky, maybe. That kind of sounds gross. I like bourbon, too. I don't, why, I, I don't understand hopped, so, so it's just stronger, it's got like a hops, IPA like type hops, finish. Hop, yeah. Ooh. Hops from like, you know, beer making. Icky. Uh, the, the distillery up there slash uh, brewery, it's a pretty, pretty damn big place. Um, didn't do a tour or anything, but um, yeah. So they had like an upstairs tap room, downstairs, and they had like 30 beers on tap that they make. Um, didn't nearly get through all of them, uh, obviously, but, uh, it was a good time. And like the number one thing that I really took away from that place that I just was like sucking dick amazed over, <laughs> they had a steak salad. A they had a steak salad. Is this, is this a term that you made up? No, no, it was a steak salad. It was, uh, romaine lettuce. A sucking dick amazed is that a term you made up? <laughs> yeah sucking dick amazed it was so good i'm gonna suck a dick for it no so this is what i was thinking he was like the one thing i took away from that place was sucking dick <laughs> i was like yeah Go you went to cleveland and suck dick yeah well i mean cleveland pride is next weekend but while i was there facebook kept advertising me like um cleveland pride bar uh, pub crawl ten dollar tickets and you get on a bus and they take you where the fuck ever and i'm like Ooh. That's good I'm not going back to Cleveland this weekend, but ooh. <laughs> I'm not going back to Cleveland this weekend. Like, why not? Here, would you rinse me? Oh, don't do that. The uh, the, the fart that I just put in there will totally. Yeah, that'll totally you. throw the flavor off. So, um, yeah. What's our timer say? I don't know. Four hundred. 
Oh, timer's over here. Sweet. So her GoPro has like a limited amount of time on it because of storage, but Man, my laptop I has. I, I can't find the original, the real GoPro. Huh. But it's my laptop. It's got 49 minutes left, You drop left, it in bro. your car, did it fall in between your seats in your car? That... Dude. Did you but, get your... No, because you had you... to upload shit, right? Yeah. Did you so, get your uh, Toyota back yet? Yeah. Nice. I finally got it back. Woohoo. I was going like, did you like. Now? Yes. I was say, did you lose I do have cars? to work tomorrow and the next day. And then are you quitting after Or not that, the next or? day. I have to work Friday. Well, I haven't decided. So, what I want to do, I think I want to just like put myself on the. Um, the on call list because if they don't use you for on call, you get paid twenty four or you get paid a hundred dollars. So if I go on call, you know, I have to sit at home and wait for them to call me. I'll just do Uber and Lyft those days, and then if they call me and say, "Hey, somebody called off. We need you to come in," you know, even if it's mid shift, I'll be like, "Oh, okay. I'll finish up my ride and I'll go there." Hand and, me your glasses, my dear ladies. And then so then it's just gonna be like, I will make some money. I'll I will make more I'll money. Surf. And if they use you, you still get that hundred dollars. So I will get paid an extra hundred dollars to go out and make money. So I'm kind of like, I might try that out one day a week and see how that works. Hold this for a second. Ooh wee. This is. Looks like piss. Kind of does. Yep. Like Smells hazy, like piss. Like a hazy piss. <laughs> Ron, did you make us? A... Nah, this was one. No, that this I, smells it, like orange juice. This is one that was donated to me, so. Smells like orange juice. It does smell like orange juice. I, I was I was getting the chocolate scent still. There's so just a little like, bit more left. I'm gonna top you off. He's gonna, he's gonna top you. I'm trying to get me drunk off. He's gonna top you. Yes, baby. I'm gonna get you drunk and take advantage of you in your own pool. I don't know why, but I just looked up real quick and it looked like he had three nipples for a second. <laughs> Chest hair. I'm this a man. Good, though. Hi really bears. Sweet. Like and a... subscribe for more uh, shirtless Ron. Hi bears. I bet that's gonna do it for us. Yeah. Get all the gay bears out there. They hear about be the sucking. Millionaires. There you go. And all I gotta do is suck dick for us three. I will be millionaires. No, this is really good. It's super sweet and t tastes like orange juice, but it really sweet orange juice. Almost like the Five Alive shit. We've had beers like that before. Cute, eh? You're beautiful. I know she's like the sweetest. Oh. If Marley was cool with having other cats in the house, and probably put her in the house, and she's really sweet. Marley doesn't like her. Marley doesn't like anybody. <laughs> But she like Buddy. No. Tolerated Buddy. <laughs> she, she tolerated Buddy. See, when I got her as a kitten, Buddy was already in the house. And then Buddy went outside for a while because he kept pissing on the floor and stuff. And then... Because of her. Once he... Yeah. Once he got... Once he got old, I was like, eh, you better come back in the house. And then after he was out and came back in, she was like, no. No. <laughs> what a bitch. <laughs> She's kind of a bitch. But she's really sweet to me, so. What's she look like again? She's calico. That's like what a, I thought. Calico's? Um, is it like a tortoise shell calico or a great calico? Yeah, like a tortoise. She's a tortoise. Man, tortoises are. So. Tortoises can be sweet, but they're absolute bitches they otherwise. Are, they are attitude, but she. And she has attitude, but with me. And she gets attitude with me, too. But most of the time, I get home and she's like really excited that I'm home and stuff. And she's like all like, hey, what are you doing, man? Hey. Hey, she's baby. Like, She's like rubbing up against my face and stuff. Don't hop in the pool, cat. You'll have supreme regrets. She will fucking get it with her back claws get trying to jump out. Up, <clears throat> so Stacy has a cat that's a tortie and a named Marley. Yeah. And it comes really? up it comes up to me and it likes this. I will smack its ass as hard as I can on the back, just like Ariana, you are uh, playing with fire, babe. <laughs> and and that cat loves to have its ass beat up. Well, fucking Harry she likes it rough. Harry? She likes it rough too. Well, you like in that right, real fast like this. In that right, shit. Harry likes it when you smack his fat ass. You slapping that What's fat ass, just making that, just making that. I, I do it super hard. Yeah. And she will come back for it, and she she rolls around. She just goes and gives you little bites. Harry then, will start doing this. Dude, those earrings are fucking badass. Hell yeah, I like. When, when I smack Harry's fat ass, just start doing this. That's thing. so funny. So, uh, for this one, ladies, this is more of like a cocktail. Ooh. Oh, we've had some This like is a uh, crafted Albita cocktails mimosa. That They're is good. good. That's I why like that's them. got the orange in it. What's the percentage on this one? Oh, let's see. Like Almeida Springs, Louisiana, Five. and. Four. four something. I think it's four. It's going to be low. Right. It does not say, actually. Because it's low. Probably. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's. Uh, four point five. 8%. Oh, wow. No way. Yeah. I thought it was going to be 8%. low as hell. 8%. Yeah. 
with Ron and his. It don't say. So, looks like really tiny written. That's so the, no, it's not tiny written. It's at normal size written. That's okay, a, my eyes. That's, that's the same size as there is on every fucking can, dude. Okay, listen, bitch. My <laughs> eyes suck and my glasses suck. How about that for an answer? How normal is that? Yeah, it's pretty normal. It, it's it's just it's. <laughs> Ron, it, so hey guys, awesome. it literally is the same size as half of the writing on the can, and then the can has, yeah, pretty much all of the writing on the can. So hey it. guys, uh, <laughs> donate to my OnlyFans to get me new glasses so I can read these fucking beer labels. I don't have an OnlyFans, but what give me money. What do you do on your OnlyFans? This is what He'll shove his old glasses up his ass if he gets new glasses. <laughs> yeah, at this point, damn near. <laughs> That's the great. only problem with new glasses is I'll look in the mirror and realize exactly how ugly, fat, and bald I am, so maybe not. These beers are great. I am drunk. <laughs> <laughs> so, drunk and pool party! Woo! What happened today? Oh, yeah. So the town I stayed in in West Virginia was called Fayetteville. Ooh, I've heard oh, of Oh, I've heard of that place. Yeah, and it's like dubbed the, the coolest small town in America, and they actually have a sign. He's like, hey, look, the government you get a proof in the water. Just trying to get in. But um, our guide, he was like really talkative and had a lot of little facts about the whole, about everything, you know? So he was like really, like, he was really fun to be around, you know? Hell yeah. And, uh, but it was kind of like, um, for anybody that's not around here, Yellow Springs, where Dave Chappelle is from. Yeah. That place, cool Fayetteville little, hip, cool little of, hippie town. Yeah, it was like a little hippie, like, kind of hippie you know kind of there's like a lot of thrift stores and just like a lot of cool like converted like they had a gas station that was converted into a shop and they had like a, a church that was converted into a cafe it's like fun. little things like that it was pretty awesome cool. it was awesome so um, i would love to go back sounds like when i years ago when i went to uh asheville north carolina it was a lot like that there was a. Uh, I've been there before, I think. There was like um, a converted gas station that was turned into like a barbecue place that was just mm -hmm. fucking fantastic. They had the best fucking barbecue there. I don't know what it is. Like they have like that vinegar, like that tangy Ooh, vinegar, that's good. vinegar, like that's thin good barbecue stuff. sauce. Oh my god. Yeah, that's, that's that in sounds Asheville. Fucking amazing. I'm pretty sure it was Asheville where, where okay. I'm talking about. Yeah, same same general area. That area somewhere. Cause I stayed with some people like back in my early 20s. It was like my ex-boyfriend or whatever, his friend. We stayed with them and they had like the best fucking barbecue in that area. Oh, yeah. I remember that trip. I went with my dad to a tractor show to pimp sheet metal because he's got a pimp and sheet metal. He's got a business making repo sheet metal for old tractors, and I was tagging along, getting paid for a little bit of weekend work. And I was sitting there. Ooh, she getting me moist. <laughs> you get me so moist, Bethy. Oh. But, like, I was sitting there, like, Googling around things while it's the show. We didn't have any customers. I'm like, hey, Dad, we're not going to, you know, he was like, he's one that always likes to go to McDonald's and, like, this stuff he knows. I'm like, yeah, there's this barbecue place I read about. It's, like, 15 miles from where we are, but we need to totally go there. Um, okay. I'm driving, and I punched it into Google, and holy shit, it was amazing. So, as soon as I are on it... Oh, we got a hot tub now. We have a hot tub. We got bubble chests in the hot tub. They're Missy's got, ass. Oh my god. <laughs> and there wow. we are, it's wind. Why is it whenever you fart in water, it's like ten times worse than it would have been That's in just great. air? Why? See, okay. I thought it was gonna be you farting up the tub. I did too. <laughs> but so okay, so why is it? I was I looked this up one time. I'm like, why is it when you fart in the shower, Dude. it's like so disgusting? And they're like, it's because you're in like this enclosed area. I'm like, no, it has something to do with I've, water. I've been in my enclosed area. The, the water, and like the water molecules, don't let the fart molecules spread out as much because it's like more know. dense air. Is that what it is? I it's got to be. I don't know, but it's like for whatever reason, it's like ten times worse, and I'm not sure why. <laughs> fart science. Fart Ron. science. Come on, man. Dude, that sounds like a new podcast over... we need to make. Fart science. Look, I don't All have... about farts and stuff. I don't have my science. phone. It's over there because I don't want to get like, it wet. I know a couple of guests we could have for that. <laughs> we talk more about poop and farts than we do about beer sometimes. Why is this not a thing? We should have our own special like segment. Fart science. <laughs> and then have a fart fact. That's a good idea. But we'll have somebody dressed up kind of like Bill Nye and we'll have like, instead of the Bill Nye song, we'll have like it just be fart, 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 science. fart, 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 f
that would be funny. And apparently your cat is coming home with me now. Sweet, she's, she's climbing in the bag. She is climbing in my backpack. I can't have my cat. I like her. You tell her she's that, that's sweet. her choice. Kill her! Ah! That's my work Actually, backpack too. Actually, you probably too. can have her if you pay attention to her because she doesn't get enough attention because she's outside. Oh, poor baby. That's why she's always like, oh, yeah. you. Oh, oh, she looked at me. Meow. Meow. Hi, baby. She's dying for Don't attention. Even get her to fuck my shit up over here. So, Are we, we were sitting at dinner today. <laughs> and I was drinking out of my water bottle that I took to work <laughs> with me. I love this. And Bissy goes, why is there a butthole sticker on the bottom of your water bottle? <laughs> and I had no idea it was there and I'm assuming it's been there since Sunday because I was at my brother's house on Sunday and they're the I have butthole stickers that they gave me <laughs> for Christmas so I'm pretty sure I know that they're the ones that have the butthole stickers I saw and I was so excited I thought she did it to herself like she put it on there herself and I was like oh my god yes your butthole I had no fucking clue it was down there and I'm like at work drinking this and it's like every time I drink you know it's on the bottom of my water bottle. So every and time God she knows, drinks, they're looking at her butthole. Er, God knows who saw it, and I think it's kind of hilarious. I think that's hilarious but. too, and I'm gonna do that to my coworkers my last few days at my at my job. But also, I think it'd be really great had I thought about this beforehand. But I would totally put my butthole on sick. So they would not know they were Dude. staring at my own butthole. I think if you get on that website, it you can says, make your own buttholes. No, well, no, it I says. I mean, if you get a printer and sticker paper, you can make your own buttholes. Totally, totally. But the what the actual website, I think it's like butthole.com or something. Like something. Do yeah, they have a section obvious. where you can upload a picture of your butthole and crop off? I have no the idea. Cheeks? I didn't order. Is that your brother's butthole? Uh, see, okay. <laughs> I don't think so, but on the website... You watch this. Hey, hey, hey. He probably watches this. Is that your butthole, sir? Tell her and let us know. Shush. Shush you. <laughs> on the website, it says they will not uh, disclose whose butthole it is. Damn it! Because I was wanting to see the face of the person whose butthole it belongs to. I know. To. I'm like, I have no idea who's... Apparently, see, it's an actual picture of someone's butthole. Well, but yeah. In my mind, I picture, like, some really beautiful, amazing, sexy woman who's like, oh, yeah. Oh, she eat my butthole, but in reality, it's like some 500 pound fat hairy guy yeah, is like, here's my butthole. It's like probably three quarter inch diameter picture of a butthole on the bottom of my water bottle. It's like that nickel I'm using size. at work. Well, nickel well, size. They either, nickel zoomed, size, yeah, they either maybe, zoomed it in. I think, it's, I think it looks size. like it's like the real size. Like it looks pretty realistic. And yeah, so. So how many times do you think they printed off the butthole picture to get it real size? Because you ever print off a picture trying to get something to an exact size when you print it off mm, or something? Right, yeah. And somebody's you just have to sitting resize. there. So staring at somebody's butthole for hours trying to resize print, it. Print, resize, print, resize. They just I've got a trash that. can full of like staring printed off buttholes. Staring butthole while you're trying to resize it? <laughs> staring at a picture, but yes, if I was trying to resize a butthole, that's how it would be. Alright, glasses I'm going to go into the re butthole resizing company. And, and you'll tell by the sound. The, ooh. More nitro. More I, I can see the top of it, bro. It's, it's like you're giving white? us the same oh shit. Oh my gosh. It's no. not as thick. It's super dark, though. This one I like saw. Beer. So. Be beer. Oh, no. This one I saw post. Somebody Peanut drank. butter? Nope. This one I saw posted on the uh, 513 beer group. Bourbon. It's got like, some mint in it. Five, I saw it on the 513 beer group like fucking months ago and I was like, I fucking want. Never found. Is it mint? It's bourbon y. You are, you are correct. By the way, it smells it's, like mint. It is it smells like toothpaste. <laughs> it toothpaste is beer. Another Southern Tier Brewing Nitro Thick Mint. Thick Mint. Nice. Instead of Girl Scouts Thin Mint, we got Thick Mint for I'm us thick ass. people. I'm a badass. Basically, picture. Mint, oh, I'm starting to taste some mint now. So basically, picture a Girl Scout Thin Mint cookie as a fucking beer. It smelled mm. like Andy's mints or something when I smelled it. I, I had that good. and the other one, and I was like, that is so fucking delicious. So, I'm going to talk about our days, and yeah. I wasn't going to bring the Smurf glasses outside because I don't want to break them because I just got them when I went on vacation, but one day next week, and it's like Smurf day, and I had no idea that there was a Smurf day. Do we want any more Thick Mint? Yes. Yeah, of course. I like these glasses. Or the hot chocolate, because I had more oh, of that too. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what's up with the water. I like the Thick Mint. 
What day? It's a pool party, so we have to drink Smurf more kids. Day. That's right. June 25th is Smurf Day. La, I don't want la. that. Like, whoa. I just totally slurred, man. Smurf la, la, day. la, 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 drunk and in a pool. So I bought my Smurf glasses when I was on vacation, and I got really excited about my Smurf glasses. Hey, I'm excited about cup. them. You get just a little bit more. There. There you go. I think friend. I have Care Bear glasses somewhere. You should. I gave them to you. I know. Yeah, I don't I know did. what. I think they're packed away somewhere or something, maybe. And I also have Pink Floyd glasses. That's amazing. Man, talking about Pink Floyd was uh, the Rock and Roll Hall nice of Fame. Now. They had some really badass Pink Floyd shirts, and I was mm -hmm. fucking pissed because, like, all the T-shirts one for se were seventy dollars. Two, oh, they're expensive. That's shit. fucked up. But for two, they only had them in small, extra small, and like medium. No large, extra large That's or anything. That's some bullshit. And I'm like, what the hell, guys? Like, every dude in there practically was a big fat ass like me. <laughs> and it was, you know, they're really awesome retro looking shirts, but they were ridiculous prices. So, you know, when okay. I left the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland, I bought fucking nothing. I haven't been there. I like, I want to go back there. I haven't been there since I was probably like 18 or so. It's been a good, like, 20 something years their, their main feature it's, i went there with keith that's the last time i was there their main feature right now is the beatles uh a couple years back um shit uh what's his name the dude that did uh all the lord of the rings movies went through and did this like massive beatles documentary where he went back and like remastered a bunch of their footage in like 4k and shit and they oh, were yeah. playing all that stuff on like giant screens in the basement down there i'm gonna go cool. out and do a lot of shit like that I want to say I was there. I'm planning to do that. After this road trip, I realized that I need to get out, like, traveling right. more. Because, like, this is, like, the proper, like, a proper vacation. The, the most proper vacation I've had since 2018 when I went to New York City. Jesus. I wow. mean, I've had a couple, like, little, like, one-night trips or whatever. You know, I, like, went to Cincinnati or something mm -hmm. one night. And Cincinnati like that. doesn't really consider that because yeah. you're within, like... Nah, it kind of is. So, it, I mean, for me, I don't consider Cincinnati that because if I could drive it in an hour, that doesn't really do it for me for getting away. It's too. If there's no, an immersion, because you can just drive five minutes back to your hotel and just chill. Well, for or me, or you can take an Uber out and about. For when me, you're in that if area. there, it's the if there's an emergency, I'm in Cincinnati. Okay, I'll be home in an hour to solve the problem. If if you want to road trip me some with me sometime this summer, I'm down. So yeah, I. I'm, planning to. I want to do shit like that. I want to go up to Michigan and go to the lake at least like for yes. a day or two. That's... And I'm chronically broke and I'm like I'm just going to sell my motorcycle. Fuck it. That $500 payment every month. That's like the, it's it's like a little bit over $500 and then my insurance is like 60 bucks a month. And then if I was to be riding it on a regular basis my I would be paying $600 a month for that. And I'm just like, you know what? Fuck it. I could be taking trips and doing cool shit, not just riding my motorcycle for a couple hours. This is why I'm rebuilding the sporty rather than buying another one. That damn. Well, I would even just buy something for three thousand dollars, not have a fucking five hundred some dollar payment. I paid twenty four hundred for the sporty. Right. I'm thinking about just going up to like Lake Michigan for just a day, just leaving really early in the right. morning. Right. I do shit like that. At, like, yeah. Nine at night or something. Hell yeah. And whatever time. Right. Oh. It for me, it needs to be at least a hotel stay to get the fuck out of my house. Right. Does that make sense? That makes sense. Oh, I, I would but, I would do day shit like but that. But if you don't have to pay for a hotel, then it's cheaper, you right? Know? And I, it's like not it's like three hours away. So if you leave at like five in the morning, you're there at like nine in the morning, right? And True. then you can leave, you know, like eight or nine at night and get home by what like midnight. One thing about I, my trip to Cleveland that was really fucking awesome, I was leery about it, but I let the kids stay home alone for the weekend, and nothing. And what's fucked, your address? Nothing <laughs> fucked up and nothing blew up. Does that make sense? She did what I told her to do, and it actually worked. I was surprised that oh, it actually... Yeah. Like, she called me midway through the trip when we were uh, walking. It was actually kind of funny, because I was fucking shwasted. I won't lie. And there was some homeless lady who was all, blah, blah, blah. Change, change, get some change. The kid apparently lost her Apple AirPods again. Dude, and all she has to do is beep, beep them. Who knows? I think she left them in her mom's car when she was staying with her mom. But the important part here is, is that... I was walking, and the kid was like, but I, I lost my headphones. I can't mow the yard. Don't know what to tell you, kid. You can mow the yard without well, headphones. Well, I was like, I, I, that's what I told him. Don't know what to tell you, kid. The mower still works without yeah, headphones. You know. <laughs> I was like, the yes. mower works without headphones. Yes, and I was like, you got to figure it out. I'm sorry. I can't help you. And right as the homeless lady asked me for change, like the exact same time, it was, she said, change? Sorry, I can't help you to her. And my kid was like, 
I realized it's like, that is fucking perfect. That's great. But, Your conversation worked on two different things. They did that on 30 Rock one time. But, Jack was having a conversation. It was really funny. He, but he like, I hung up on her after oh, that, and then she called me back a little bit later. Amazingly enough, she used her own money and walked to the dollar store like two blocks away and bought cheap, shitty $10 earbuds. And they worked. And I'm like, wow. Good for her. She's Problem like fucking solving. maturing or something. Right. That's it happens. What, why is she why, why did she become more mature like in, in a five second? Because I told her if she fucked up, I'd never let her stay home alone again. That's funny. Good job, Ronald. You're doing a good job. Good job. Maybe she wants to be able to stay home more often instead of feel like she had to be babysat at 17. You are single dadding that shit, dude. I never once felt like I wanted to hold her head under the water until the bubble stopped. That's great. You, on the other hand. No, <laughs> ah, that's cold. <laughs> but anyway, that's really funny. That reminds me of when my kids were young. I would take them to the to the pool a lot. We were at the YMCA. And we would uh, go swimming and shit. And then I would have the things where I was throwing them and I was trying to get them to, you know, dive for the things. And they were so small and they had trouble getting themselves to go underwater. I would have to, like, push their faces and heads underwater to help them go underwater. And I'm like, it was such a stress relief. Like, all the times they'd be irritated and I was just like... See, and I, I was pushing their heads right underwater and it felt fucking great. <laughs> I feel like that should like not feel good. <laughs> oh, but it amazing. does. Oh, but it does. I remember it's, when it was Sarah was so great. It was what, just ah, boom, yeah, bitch. When I still next. lived in Eaton and I would go to the Y all the time, <laughs> my daughter was like four or five years old. We'd get in the pool, like the times we'd go, there'd be nobody there. I would just pick her up, up and throw her, just throw her up as high as I could, and just step, to, like step to one side, just watch her slam down. It was fucking amazing. Well, every time I would take them all the time, because I think at this point in time I either work second shift or third shift, so I was always taking them, you know, plenty of times, and they were. I think from the time, like they probably got in the pool a few times with like like waders on they have all kinds of floaty shit at the, the the y they probably got in there a few times like that and then after that they'd be running up to the pool and i just boop just <laughs> just push them in dude <laughs> they had no problems it was always great but it was so funny because every time i would push them in they'd be like ah but they always fell for it every fucking time i think they liked it they liked being shoved in and drowned in the pool it's cool kids <laughs> like to drown it's it's a thing <laughs> have you ever seen those videos on like Facebook reels or whatever where they'll just be like walking through Walmart and they'll just like the dad will just push his kid into like yes. thing in the middle of the aisle that shit cracks I've done that shit I, I feel like this is you when we'd be walking in places and you just take my hand and you'd be like whoop touch trying, your butt try, trying to get you to grab old ladies asses if we're Dude, like right I remember you doing that when we were kids you used to do that shit to me <laughs> And I was like, do, do so we need quiet. to file a class action lawsuit against Missy? <laughs> I feel harassed. I feel harassed. I was like, I just saw something. I don't know if that was one of my cats, but I just saw something run. That's great. But anyway, get it, get it, get so, it. like when we were kids, I was like, really, I mean, I'm still pretty quiet. You not know, like, like she used to be. Not like I used to be, but. Now but. she gets drunk on camera in a swimsuit. Oh, yeah, I look at that sexy woman. <laughs> Gotta face your fears. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's like, don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I was to swim suit. Don't look at me, punch. <laughs> so, I was like super, super, super shy when I was a kid. Like, <laughs> so, so shy. And like, Missy was not. She was super outgoing. And she would always just do shit that would embarrass me. And I would just like <laughs> pretend like I didn't know her. Because, and now I'm just like, I'll play along with it. I don't care. But back then, I was like so shy. Oh, yeah, that's good stuff. But I, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Hey, let's hold hands. Let's skip around. La, 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 la. Whoop. It's good for me to have friends like that. <laughs> Get you out of your comfort zone. For sure. Into somebody's go. ass. Yes, for sure. Into somebody's ass. I just touch random people's asses now. No problem. <laughs> it's Tuesday. Let's go touch a butt. <laughs> That's good stuff. That's just, all me. You know, just don't get um, pink eye, of sexual harassment oh, okay. at work or something. <laughs> That's good stuff. So, like, my watch is waterproof, and every time I put it under water, it disconnects from my phone, and I hear my phone like. Over I, there. I was hearing your phone. I thought that was weird. I didn't it's know like what it was. It's like every time I put my watch under water, it's like. Bloop. I thought it was your computer. I was 
That's cool. That's cool. That's that's really funny that it does that. So I don't I don't know that my watch does it's that. It's something like Bluetooth just not being worth a shit. Gotcha. So there's a couple days here. I mean, I yes. have like on the 12th. I have which is was yesterday, two days ago. Because we missed a week. What is that noise? It's oh, his feet. Wrong. I thought I he was, was farting. Like, I thought he was shitting. Ah. No shit in the pool. The 12th is National Flag Day, and it just makes me think of red flag. <laughs> That's like, funny. National, National Red Flag, flag Day. Flag day. So, so like, what are some of your red flags, ladies? There you so, go. Tomorrow, me. Like, right Ron's now. Ron's a red flag. Tomorrow is the 15th, and then I'm glad that we're doing this on today because tomorrow is National Kiss a Wookie Day. Oh! <laughs> come, on, come get some, ladies. Come get some. Okay. It's no! Not, it's the not, face! It's not, not the mouth! Yuck! Not make wait, out wait, 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 <laughs> I'm just saying, like that is a hairy motherfucker. Over there. I, I kept staring. I was like, "Yep, he's totally got his shaved outline of his T-shirt." <laughs> Let's see. Elder abuse awareness day is also tomorrow. <laughs> We're already doing that right now. <laughs> we are aware. We are abusing the fuck out of this old motherfucker beside us. Uh, that's good stuff. <laughs> This all lines up. I swear she makes this shit up. <laughs> no, this is real. This weekend's Father's Day. You want to be my? Come on, come on, be daddy. No come daddies. On. Come yeah, on, this, come on, baby. This week for me is stranger like, danger. <laughs> this week for me is usually not a good week because actually tomorrow would be my dad's birthday oh, and also no. Father's Day is coming up. So it's like like a double. It's like a twofer. Well, so I'm sorry, I totally up. made that awkward. No, it's not awkward. <laughs> I mean, it's been. 20 something years right now, but so. still but still okay so recess at work day is on the 16th i saw you posted that we need what to day have is that? recess what day is that? and that's also wishful is that tomorrow day. that's uh thursday that's also wish fulfillment day so just come on wish fulfillment yeah, yeah. hell yeah i don't work thursday so that's good and then the 17th is national take back the lunch break day mm. and also ugliest dog day <laughs> hey my little dog jada i shaved her <laughs> over the last two weeks she is goddamn hideous right now. She will win Ugliest Dog Day. That's great. Did we did we speak about the Smurf? The, the, the... Go ahead. <laughs> I was going to ask if we spoke about Smurf Day. We did, but I didn't really like get... I mean... Okay, gotcha. Because that's why we... It's cool that we have the cups. I have Hefty. He has Papa Smurf. And she has Clumsy. Yeah, I got Clumsy. And, and, and they I'm completely clumsy. fit us perfectly. I want to be my daddy. I'm your daddy Smurf. So the 18th is Autistic Pride Day, and I have to mention this because my nephew is autistic, we and go. we love him more than anybody. There you go. He is fucking amazing. Hell yeah. Uh, dog Dad's Day is also that day. He's a dog dad. I know. That's why I mentioned it. Hell yeah. Garfield the Cat Day is on the 19th. Fun times. Juneteenth is also on the 19th. There we go. We'll mention that. That's an honorable mention. And it's also National Eat an Oreo Day, so that's kind of like... Oh, wow! That is a that's fucking... <laughs> That is a busy fucking day. No, it's just really kind weird. Kind of ironic. Thing. It is. It's like eat an Oreo, Juneteenth, like, hmm. <laughs> right? Hello, Oreo. Uh, and I have to mention they National. They gave it up. National. For Pride Month. Well, yeah. I mean, look, I specifically brought the rainbow fucking the Pride like, beach towel. towel. There you go, yeah. National Hike with a Geek Day is on the 20th. Well, guys, where are we hiking to? I mean, I'm kind of a geek, too. Right, like, there you go. We might all be geeks. We're geeky. We're pretty geeky. Where are we hiking to? Because I'll bring some Transformers and some Star Trek shit. <laughs> you don't even need that. We just, we just bring a hike with a geek. All right. You really don't have to prove you're a geek. We already know you're a geek. I'll be packing a Megatron toy And gun. that's also Take Your Cat to Work Day. <laughs> Ooh, that would be fun. <laughs> oh, man. Harry would fuck that place up. And Forgiveness Week and Roller Coaster Week. Hell yeah. Good times. Roller Take Coaster Week? I need to go to the island. Take Your Pet to Work Week is starts next week, I think. Or The whole well, week? Yeah. That'd, that'd be great. Oh, man. I'm going to have to talk work. to work and see if they'll let me bring Charlie Monday that Monday of the third full week of June is Take Your Pet to Work Week. Sweet. So, like, when I uh, got shit can from Honda, one of the places I applied was uh, Chewy, mm -hmm. and they let oh, you wow. take and they let you take your pets to work. That's fun. Like, just that's just what they do. I did not get the job because it wasn't IT, and they're wanting me to do like floor shit, and I wasn't gonna go that route. Right. But uh, I was like, dude, Charlie would love the hell out of that. That's fun. I, but how can you get a like? I mean, I get you can do that, but 
Most people's pets don't behave on their own. How are they supposed to be behaving when, when they can't be babysat? And how are they supposed to behave around other people's pets? Well, like, you know, you, you socialize them to the other dogs and shit. It's not like... You're going to have to get them socialized so they're not, like, trying to dominate or fight the other dogs all the time. But Charlie would eventually adapt to it, I think. Charlie would. Charlie's a good dog. Charlie is he's social. Yeah, I mean, is. I go over there and he's like, you're cool, man. I like you. Yeah, he oh used to be God, really barky when he would come in. When I would come in first, he oh, would no. kind of be really ragey. And, rah, 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 rah. Really? Oh, yeah. When I first start, when he first got him. When I, uh, so he when I came had home. had him when I started coming over because he was He's had like, him for a little while. I've had him since 2020 when his, uh. Old, uh, That's why I started coming around. Uh, it was before that even. Maybe it was like it, early. I was gonna say it took some months for Charlie it, to just get over people going like in and out. His, of the house. Uh, Charlie, his old mom and dad were getting a divorce, and his old mom was like basically Charlie's just up my ass all the time, won't leave me alone, and all this other crap. And basically, he just needed somebody to mess with him and interact with him. And now, like. When I was gone over the weekend, he was literally dying upset. And when I came home, he just, like, exploded everywhere and was up my ass the whole time. But if also he was in a new house that he wasn't, like, accustomed to, any any sounds people come in, He knows what it sounds like when somebody comes in a house because yeah. of the house he lived in before. But he doesn't know anybody in and out. So who, he's got who, to... Doesn't know who's the boss. Doesn't know who... Uh, so he's got to be there. a little aggressive until he's realizes that nobody bad's coming in so yeah, yeah. But he, okay, he was he was pretty because i i was all about me the first time i met him i, I would shy no, away from him you. here and there when i'd come in if he was being loud i would back off a little bit let him smell me before getting in his face I, I got, now i just uh, walk right in like blah i got new neighbors on the north side there and he forgets that there are neighbors that actually do shit in the yard now and he will, like, I had him out the other night, and he was going to the bathroom, and he started barking at the dude. I'm like, Charlie, lay the fuck off. That's funny. He fucking lives there. That's great. He's a good dog. Charlie's a big dumb himbo, but dog. he's a good dog. Oh. Hmm? I said I miss my dog. You're Get a dog to... and bring him in the pool. I've been thinking about getting a dog again. You're welcome to uh, steal yeah. Charlie whenever you like. I don't know. I don't know if I want to take care of a dog, because I've been thinking. Babysit. Babysit Charlie. Bring him over. Yeah. The, the biggest problem with the dog is that they are so damn clingy and they they're need needy. you. It's right. not like a cat where you can leave for a week and they're like, oh, right. you were gone? See, the I've been thinking, like, I want to switch jobs maybe and I want to get something to possibly where I'm traveling because, I don't know, I enjoy traveling a lot. Like, I fucking love it. I feel, I feel more like myself when I'm traveling than when I'm here. Right. And just, like, I've been kind of, like, pondering on that a little bit. So I don't know if I really want to get a dog just because of that. Right. So my thought is, my only well, reason? you could always, if, if you had a job that you could take your dog Wait, with your you and stay saying? places. I don't know. We have been potting for about 48 minutes. Okay. okay. So we still got some time. But so oh, for me. Do we want any more beer? Sure. We want hot chocolate or mint? I don't care. We'll do the hot chocolate. Sure. It's, it's, it's a little bit yummier. But anyway, so with the. Seriously? Have it it's, right. It's, it's not that, a pool party if we don't cold. have splashing. I hate splashing. Do not splash. Fuck I will kill splash. you. I will pee on you. <laughs> That's kind of its own <laughs> splashing. <isn't laughs> it? Fuck your splashing. Don't splash me. I will pee on you. <laughs> no peeing in the pool. I, I'm peeing on the Ron. The Ron's but, no. in the pool. So the, Glasses, the, please. The, the oh. thing that, that makes... Gonna... Yeah, I don't care about taste now. But the thing that... Ooh, eat. you like that noise? The thing that is like the biggest... Like between cats and dogs. I'm gonna hate my life tomorrow so much. The, the, the beer independence. Fart, uh, Wednesday is gonna be extreme. Beer, beer uh -huh. shit Wednesday. What what was it's the meme that you did you put? Was there something that's gonna be beer <laughs> shit Wednesday? With lacto, made with lactose sugar, so oh yes. Oh, God but, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> but so no, anyway. Thanks for the warning, with, Ron. With, with, well, with, I mean, you gotta get that uh, creamy between the bubbles and that. <laughs> my, my, the thing with dogs and cats, this is why I like cats a little bit better. Because when you hold them, and then you're done holding them, you can just throw them on the ground. You like open your arms and they they land. Stand up, drop. Dogs, you will fucking break them. <laughs> Dogs are like in your face, in your face. In right, your face. right. Every time I set Jada down, the little one, even if it's like this close to the fucking ground, thump falls on her face every damn time. <laughs> She's like, 
old, but still. You can just throw cats across the room and they land on and their fucking feet. And my cats are like, I don't give a fuck about you. I'm going to go hang out up there and you might not see me for two days. Right, exactly. And that's, Unless that's there's no food in good. my bowl. If there's no food in my bowl, you're going to fucking die and you'll guess, know about it. I don't know. I guess I'm just not that needy to where I like need that validation or whatever. Want that attention from yeah. another animal? I, well, like until know. my grandma passed away, I didn't have any dogs. Then I got Sophie and Jada. Sophie has pa since passed on of old age. This is fun. <laughs> oh God, she is floating her beer glass. Oh God, this is so awesome. What? We are oh floating. God. They are floating their beer glasses, ladies and gentlemen. They are floating them in the pool. They are perfectly this balanced. This is great. My beer glass. Now it would suck if it would tip and get some water in it because I'd be tempted to fucking drink it That's anyway. Yeah, I don't. I mean, this water is probably safe because it. It's the same shit we drink just, out of your. We're seat. just sitting in it yeah. and we're gross. Which is cool. It just looks I'll gross. drink Ariana bath water. I'll drink Ron bath water. Just if, if it has beer in it. I was listening. If it did not have beer in it, I'd be like, bitches, no. You Motherfucker, guys I'm going to come up with a new <laughs> brew. This is 10% beer. I'm going to come up with a new brew called Ron Ron's bath, bath water. water. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Do it. And it's got to be 10%. You got to try to make it as close to 10% as you can. That'll because kill anything this is 10%. It. I'm not sure. It's between this and the orange one that I like the most, I think. I don't. I did the, really like that orange. This made my beer colder. The mint was good, mm. but drinking the mint and then drinking this one, it's I think this, this one's better. I almost thought the mint was better when I first started drinking right. it, but this one, but I, it is better. now that I'm drinking better. this, I think this is better. Like I, like I said, I saw that th the thick mint on uh, the 513 group. Hi, Zach. Yes, I'm referencing the 513 group. Five, what's it? 513 Cincinnati or 513 Ohio? 513 Ohio. But uh, no, I'm not posting pictures on there because I am fucking lazy and drunk. So, I didn't finish Ooh. my week because I finished this this week, but we're doing next, next week, week because too. this Oh, yes. What week. is next week, Malia? Next week. Let's see. First day of summer is next week on the 21st. Ooh, ooh. And that's also the longest day. And that's Humanist Day and Music Day. What, what is the day? day? World Humanist Day. Humanist World Day. Music Day. The 22nd. I kind of thought you were saying Hummus Day. It's like World Hummus Day? <laughs> like they have a whole world I love day for hummus. it? The 22nd is Stupid Guy Thing Day. My day! <laughs> yeah, yeah, good, exactly. good for you, Ron! Good for yeah. you! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so everything that guys do that is stupid, we celebrate that on the It should be second. forgiven that day. I'm, I'm just going to take a vacation day myself <laughs> away from guys that day so I do not have to celebrate their stupidity unless I want to. Good idea. I mean, like, I'm going to avoid my kids at all costs so they won't get used to that shit. And then and I might be, I might allow Ron to be, uh, I'll celebrate Ron's stupidity. I'll be like, good job, you're an idiot. Thank you. <laughs> and the 23rd, ironically, is National Pink Day because... My brain goes to like the dirtiest, like vagina. Yeah, why? I don't know. You know National what? Vagina I will always day. celebrate and, vagina. But why okay? is that ironic? Because National Stupid Guy Day. Is I ah, course, so there you go. go. I will Day always Day celebrate so vagina. So we're celebrating so. stupid dudes one day, and we're celebrating pink. But really, well, it's we're celebrating pink, women, like the color pink. Right. But, you know, but my not, brain, right. My brain goes to the Aerosmith song, and we all know mm -hmm, what that means. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look, again, I will always celebrate go. that kind of pink. No, yeah, no questions uh, asked. Take your dog to work day is on the 24th. Hell yeah. yeah. I am, I don't know These thanks, beer. Thanks for your beer. It's well shit, man. <laughs> what, what, he, did you, you opened two of the night. The, you opened. Um, so, it's well, also International Fairy Day that day. We're, we're actually we have, six beer in and we so, did okay, pre okay, we have two of the thick bent left. And we're six beer in, and we pre-drunk. And we have one of the cocoa left. Seems like good pre-bearing for next week, it's, but ooh, we don't have to. Right. It, it's a good week. It's a good week. UFO. It's a pool party. We can get a little bit tipsy, okay? World UFO Day is on June 24th. Hell yeah. So um, I'm going to find UFOs that the day. The 25th is Global Smurfs, Global Smurfs Day. That, awesome. So I have Do a question. Fucking we're not Asians dead. and... and, and Australians and Europeans all know about the Smurfs? Yeah, I mean, they came from Europe. On the 26th, ironically, Eye Safety Awareness Week and Heller, Helen Keller... Oh, this fucking stinks! Did <laughs> you fart again? Uh, all I can say about Helen Keller Day is water! <laughs> water! <laughs> and that's it. That was on the Helen Keller movie, wasn't it? Yes. Wait, water! Was water. Yeah, because they were... They had a Helen Keller episode of South water. Park recently. Oh, was that? Okay, there yeah, you go. Yeah, where they were like... 
the, the the kindergarten was putting on this amazing play, and the the like the fourth graders were doing like a Helen Keller play, and they were competing. And they just kept getting like more and more over the top. So she's like, what do you mean? There was a big thing, didn't she? Like, I think in the movie she threw a glass of water in her face or something. She was getting yeah, frustrated trying to get water. Been Dude, since I since remember like reading a book about her when I was really, really young, and I was just fascinated with it. Like, how how is that possible? And then you're like walking around your house with your eyes closed, trying to like. <laughs> have you ever done that? Like, you walk around the house with your eyes closed to see what it would be like to be blind or whatever. Yes, I used, I used to do, to do that. that all the time. Like, I, I I've thought about that stuff when I'm walking the dogs, because like you know I'll shut my eyes sometimes and like. Let's see how it'd be if these were seeing eye dogs. Nope, I'll die. <laughs> real Your quick, dogs trained for one thing. <laughs> real quick, <laughs> yeah, it was like real quick. So why is Helen Keller's socks yellow? Her dog was blind too. What was the other one? <laughs> it was hot. why does Helen Keller only masturbate with one hand because she moans with the other? Oh, I, I remember you telling me that one. <laughs> this week on the showing butt plug, yellow. we offend the blind and the deaf. We offend everybody and. <laughs> When you were talking about walking around like you were blind, so when when we were first able to go back to school, well, my kids were first able to go back to school, <coughs> but they still had to wear masks. They all got like school masks, and I, I think I don't know why uh, there must maybe there was the game. It must have been a football game that we were at. Me and Logan were at Jacob's football game, and we left early. For a second. The game? You the just game. lost? Uh, you just you lost thought it. about it anyway. I know. I fucking lost. You lost the game, guys. So did Everyone you. watching. So did you. Everyone watching, you, you should lost the game. The game. <laughs> but no, so Logan put his mask over his eyes. He was like, I want to try to see if I can walk to Grandma and Grandpa's. It's literally like it, where they used to live was fucking two, three blocks right down the road. It was like so small. And he was. The house I know. No. Okay. So they no they <clears throat> moved to like um they moved on a little offshoot of uh Commerce Street. Okay. And then now they live where his grandma lived because both of those grandparents died and Wendy has to stay there. Okay, yeah. So they moved there. But the house that they moved it, it's literally like two blocks down the road. It, it's very close. Like I think it's like one block closer down the road or maybe it's just uh, maybe the same block i don't know I but just it came up to me <laughs> she's like hey but but logan's like he's, you he's in walking a while. i want petted pet me bitch and i i swear i made a video of him and it was really funny i don't know if i still have that video but he was walking he's like i'm gonna see if i can do that he's like uh, there's gonna be a fence right here i'm like no you're wrong he's like and the way he's he's like he said something really funny he's like it's like i'm blind but i'm dumb he didn't know where he was he's like this is really awesome it's like i'm blind but i'm dumb and he kept going through like it, the funniest things i've ever heard him say he the way he was walking he's like we're gonna turn right now and he, uh, he made me let him lead me and everywhere he was walking was cool for his feet but for my feet i was tripping over shit and just fucking getting hurt everywhere i went he's like we're gonna turn right here because this is their street i'm like dude no this is not their street he's taking the, the blindfold off he's like i am not i don't <laughs> like See, he was like he I was never, totally wrong i never son of a bitch i never tried it like that it was just like it was bad or whatever it was horrible <laughs> it was fun though i, I would do it again i would do, do it that. again that'd be great it was a lot of fun I used to do shit like that though. Like, what would it be like if I was deaf and like I would like close my ears and you know, right. and, or like blind? Have you ever watched like videos on YouTube where blind people put makeup on and shit like that? Dude, they're fucking it's amazing! Freaking, it is amazing. I, I could not do that. I mean, maybe if I was born blind, I'm maybe. I'm gonna try it now. <laughs> Dude, Dude, pictures. Next, we should do a show like that where you and me. That just remind me of something. Put else. makeup on. With our eyes shut. I'm going right? to be putting makeup. Oh, that reminds me. I'm putting makeup on this Saturday. You just remind me. On the same day as Dog Dad's Day and Autistic Pride Day, it's World Juggling Day, and we forgot about the the balls. balls. <laughs> you can juggle them in your mouth. <laughs> That's a good stuff. They're in there, and I saw them the other, like, the other day when I went grocery shopping. Had them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was convinced. I was so like, shoot them out your mouth, catch them in your beard, and then toss it back and forth. I was like, so fucking confused. Did we tell this story on here? No, no, we did not tell this story. So we went when we went to that um, 
freak show. The hell's the a pop show. and freak show. Yeah. The side show. Dude, and another thing, when we were in West Virginia, we passed a car and they had a bumper sticker that had a hell's a pop and side show. Uh, thing yeah, on no I'm shit. Like, dude, we went to that. And but anyway, when we went to that, this dude was like juggling. You tell the story because, uh, dude, we I don't know exactly how it went. <laughs> So we were drinking she because she trashed. don't even remember it. I was drunk. She was she was more than drunk. It was celebrating fifty. But I called so, in to work the next day. <laughs> <laughs> like drunk. So, so these so these people, <laughs> like the the sideshow. The guy was he had a, I think at least a few. I, I don't quite remember it, but he had like a couple. I think um, ping pong balls in his mouth, and he was juggling them. And I'm like, dude, Ariana can do that. And she's like, no, I can't. I'm like, dude, you can totally do that. See, what I she's got a big mouth. Ariana, she's got Steven Tyler well, mouth. Ariana, you quit with balls in your mouth. She's girl. got Steven Tyler mouth. I've heard stories about that mouth. The amount of balls she could put in her mouth, boys. <laughs> Let me tell you. So what I want to say is, like, I want to say he was juggling two balls with his hands. And I'm like, I can do that. That's fucking lame. You know? And yeah, then, he was like, doing some really lame shit. Yeah, I'm like, this is He had stupid. a chainsaw like, that, that had, like, a smaller blade than my dick. <laughs> and then... And then he started doing it with his mouth, and I'm like, yeah, I can't do that. And then she was like, you can do that. <laughs> I think that's and, how it went. I don't so know. And so I was trying to buy ping pong balls, but literally, th like, there was a few small packages, and I'm like, god damn, that's expensive. And then there was a pack of, like, like 100 or something. like 60 or something. There, there, was, there was, like, a, for, like, fucking $10, I was like, everything else was 20 25 15 I'm like, why not buy the fucking pack of 60 for fucking 10 so, so I came home from work and I saw a package on my porch and I'm like, I don't remember ordering anything. And I picked and it I up. always put it in the person's name that's shown to their house. I picked it up and it was really light and I'm like, what is, what the fuck is this? And I opened it up and I was like, I, I don't know what's happening here. I was like, <laughs> I just remember drunk Missy going up to me going, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, dude, dude, dude. And like showing me what you It was so much more funny in my head. I had no idea about it. And, it. and it was supposed to actually show up the way, what it showed. I was like, it was going to show up before the podcast episode that we were going to record. I was like, <laughs> and, and there was, we did not get them that day. You got them like the next day. And I was they like, were son of a bitch. They could have been out there and I just didn't, didn't see know. Maybe. Because you didn't get an alert because your package was delivered. It's about your package. Quite possible. I don't know if I got a, I don't think I got an alert though. So yeah, I got those and I was like texting people. I'm like, did we say something weird about the podcast? Because like apparently all you need is like a phone number or an email. And I'm like, maybe one of my friends was watching the podcast and we said like we were gonna shoot ping pong balls out of her asshole or something. I don't know. We would say something like that. I don't know. We would know. say something like that. <laughs> Next episode, Ariana shoots ping pong balls out of her asshole while Ron shoves his glasses up his asshole. I was like, did we ever say something like that? I I have no idea. And then Ron's like, oh, mm. Missy. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was just good. It was good. It was I, like the time you said, what the fuck was that you sent to my house randomly that one time? Oh, we were, I was, was like, making, uh, some I was, peppermint shit. I was making fun of Ron for um jacking off with head and shoulders because he was young and he thought that that would feel really good and tingly and yay but ouchy. it did not feel good at all <laughs> and i forget I, we had a certain particular conversation so then i ended up buying him a peppermint shampoo because like of that two cases of peppermint and, shampoo. But the thing about it, it was like relatively cheap like you know and like so you're getting like these huge fucking bottles like i know he there was two bottles there were huge three Three. I use them, by the way. Yeah. Not on me. Mm -hmm. Not on me. No. Uh -huh. uh, peppermint kill. No, no, no. Not even for that. Peppermint, like, makes fleas go away. Sweet. And I used it on the dogs. Nice. True story. Yeah. Did you just shit, or was that your foot moving on the bottom of the pool? I I, I felt fart don't bubbles. Shit in the pool. Right? I mean, I could stay in the pee, but I don't have. I have got the pee too. I was just like, I could just go around back where there's no camera footage and I could just pee in the yard. So, I was talking to my brother the other day. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be good. I hope it's going to be good. <laughs> and he used to um, do yard. lawn care and stuff back in the day. And we were talking about shitting outside. <laughs> and he was like, you should definitely try shitting outside. I was like, I don't think I've ever took a shit outside. I don't think I've ever I've took a shit outside I've definitely peed either. outside. I've shit in port but that's not the but same. But I don't think I've 
like actually squatted down and taking shit. He's like, well, when I used, like, I felt awkward um, asking people if I could use their bathroom. I would totally blow up somebody's bathroom. So he's like, so I, you know, I would just like walk out to the woods or like walk out somewhere where they couldn't see me or whatever, and I would squat down and take a shit. And he's like, you wouldn't believe how fucking amazing it is. Well, that's like how Did you we're shit the other day. Did no, I have not done it yet, but maybe I will. I well, that's know. like you know, <laughs> theoretically, how we're designed is right. to shit outside. Yeah, and that's yeah. what he said because he's like, because he was like, it's so nice because you like you're sitting your in the right down, position. And it's like all the air is like getting your balls. I'm like, well, I don't have that problem, <laughs> but all the air is getting your lips. She, she, the sound is making is. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was like, so like the whole squatty potty. <laughs> 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 Raspberries. <laughs> uh oh. Oh no. We got five more minutes. Okay, so the whole like squatty potty thing, he was talking about the squatty potty thing, and I'm like, so it's like basically like if you're squatting down, it's like way better, you know? And he's like, yeah, man, I mean, it makes a difference. Because I don't have a squatty potty or anything. I got one, and they're amazing. And that's what I I've heard, too. but I've never used it. But I have put my like feet up on like you know on the uh, seat or whatever. Yeah, there you, you know, go. To see if it works or I don't know. But it's amazing. He's like, you need to try to take your shit outside some. <laughs> He's like, just go back behind your barn. I swear that reminds me though of like any. It's a farmer asked question. She's just fertilizing. I swear, like any time that there would ever be like a major storm and the power would go out, out at your house, Aaron would be the first. Like within three minutes, she'd be like, "I gotta take a shit," and she'd go shit outside in the field. <laughs> every fucking time. I don't remember. <laughs> I remember you bitching about that. Like I swear, every time the power goes out, it's like she wants to go shit outside. She will shit outside immediately. She doesn't even hold it. <laughs> I mean, she did used to live in the hills or whatever. Maybe that's why. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, and shit. And now I'm like, maybe I should try shooting outside because my brother was talking about how amazing it is. I kind of, I, I don't, I, I am not a person that likes to be like that. You were on this big outdoor adventure last weekend. You were kayaking and in the woods you. and you were hiking. I totally peed outside we while were, kayaking. We had a I conversation on the way there about it. <laughs> like, so what if you have to shit? You just like get in the water and like what if it's a floater? And it's like, you <laughs> no. shit and it's then it floats. Well, it's, the it's Whitewater Rapids will take it away. It'll fucking go. It'll go. I'm just picturing <laughs> like just the Whitewater Rapids and, and, and the shit. It. Pick it up, chuck it over your shoulder. What's funny it's about cool. that is that I'm thinking about the rapids and the like the shit going like right. crazy shit like a raft. What we were the funny thing is we were having that conversation and then our river guide started talking about that a little bit later and I'm like, dude, we just had this conversation. Like, wait, wait, what, what, I'd be like, what should we do? We were we were speculating, but we're not sure. We please let us know. Like I went and peed in the woods, like we stopped. I was totally pissed in the water. I did too. I did. He was like, Yeah, you gotta put you know, he's like, You can always tell when somebody's pissed in the water because their face is like relief and I'm like, <laughs> I totally pissed because nobody would admit it and I'm like I totally did I was like I don't care I'll admit it that's great I remember when I went to Florida I, I remember telling this not to interrupt you but I was walking towards Logan in the, in the fucking ocean he's like mom don't come near me I'm peeing <laughs> I was like, well, that's awkward so <laughs> do we go have, away so real quick do we have anything to finish up because we got five minutes left yes Maybe less. oh well we need to know what we learned what the, what did we learn today guys I don't think we learned a whole lot of anything I learned that this pool was a fantastic idea. It, it was a it, good idea. Right. It was a great idea, even though it's good. cold and I, I have to pee like I wouldn't believe. I'm starting to have to pee, but it's Yeah, I'm thinking nice. I'm going to go behind your garage here when I'll, I'm done. I'm liking some 10% well, beers. I've learned that. Yes. Ro going on vacations rules. Yes. We need I like more. Smurf Week, more and I love it the fact that the three glasses that Ariana pulled out were like the most amazing glasses that could have been pulled out. <laughs> I've Papa got, Smurf? I'm even getting like the old Papa Smurf beard I, I, if it keeps I'm, going I'm wider. I'm always trying to be like, I can get it myself. I'm fucking strong. I can do this. And I'm and clumsy as fuck. <laughs> it, it just fucking worked out amazing. And I, that I just was, accept that. And she has more than those three glasses, so she pulled out the proper three without even trying. Next week we'll have three different. See how they match our personalities then? Uh, maybe. We have like Gargamel and Handy Smurf. And I think <laughs> we laughed at that. Six. Look, 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 Handy Smurf, hang on. No! No! <laughs> Ron gives handies, not me. I don't give handies. Ron's better at it. <sighs> Ron's got the penis to prove it. I got more practice. There you go. 
We, we need to uh, talk about going to like Pride at some point. Are we? I would, that? I, we, dude, should. we should. I we should. We need to make sure. I got a thing this Saturday. Well, we should definitely do Pride. This Saturday, this Saturday I have to be busy. I also have a thing. Okay, right. we'll look into see. I'll, I'll do some what checking. What Pride we can do? I'll look into check. I'll do some checking and look into it, and I'll let us know because it's either going to be Columbus or Sanseca State and Pride. I'm is going to state. see the machine on Saturday. Oh, uh, it's fun. I, dude, are you, is Ian going? I'm oh, acting I, I again. Just swore I thought you were going with Ian because I said something no. to uh, Larry's going there. Oh, is he? Yeah, and he's 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 seen a lot. There's like a lot of people. Oh, real quick, ladies. Shane Gillis, the Machine. Is Chelsea Lynn gonna be there? I don't think so. So she's on that with him, Seriously. but she, but her. like that next Wednesday, she's going to be in Kentucky. That's what me and Stacy are going to. So oh, before it, before it cuts off, should we do our thing? The strobingbuffalo.com. Like, like, subscribe, share. If you like our pool episode, let us know. We can do more because it's going to be a long, hot, goddamn Righto. summer. And we'll this just keep talking. Okay, now we'll keep on. talking in case it gets off. Sorry. Right. Okay, so Taylor Tomlinson, The Machine, Shane Gillis apparently is supposed to be there, I'm which I didn't know. Dude, he's funny. Uh, Big J. Okerson. I've not heard of any of these. And there was somebody else. David Hell. Ooh, okay, he's fun. So no, but Larry's gonna go to that. And so I just watched a Chelsea Lynn podcast the other day, and she said she's going to be on that with him. God, I hope she's there because that would be fucking great. I but love but the her. thing, but the thing of it is, like, for that to be in Dayton on Saturday and her to be doing a Kentucky show on Wednesday, like, why wouldn't she be at that one? Because I guess Larry said there's like seven or eight rotating um, comedians that are going to be on that show so if they can show up to it cool if they can't someone else is going to show up whatever area he happens to be in squirrel. but maybe if your cats didn't kill it but so for that but also what i did not know which i don't i have not confirmed it but larry says that chelsea lynn actually lives in that kentucky area does she yeah so that's like a short skip for her to go to dayton just to be on the Burt Kreischer shit, thing. Man, Go to Dayton so for like funny. a weekend. Dude, make she, some money. I, 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 she's fun. I've always watched her Tammy uh -huh. shit. Yeah. And that's funny. But I got burnt out of the fucking redneck white I'm, trash person when when fucking the Larry the Cable guy. Like I've that that was her like on podcasts and stuff. Like I like too, her Chelsea Lynn shit. Yeah, me too. And and so when she does, so apparently, I didn't know this. Okay, so she I knew that she did. Um, shit she did vine shit but i did not know that she used to be a teacher really yeah, she, that either. Can, so because when she did her vine shit she just went as chelsea lynn so people wouldn't because because she didn't understand the search internet was different and so she was just like she did her vine shit under like her first and middle name so people couldn't find her. So like her students couldn't find her because she didn't want to get fired from her job because at that time it was really easy to get fired on social media for shit and she didn't want to get fired. And then like, she's just kind of just from there. Oh. And so that's why she goes as Chelsea Lynn now and you just don't go by her last name, which I don't know what her last name is. Yeah, I've listened to her on like the Honeydew, and she's been on different. I think like Whitney. she's been on a lot here recently, and she's funny. Like I like her. She's she's really funny, and I follow her on Facebook and Instagram and stuff too. So. Right. Yeah, she's pretty great. Like you wouldn't believe. I'm, I'm hopping out. Yeah. I'm getting this. Uh, uh, face Ron's ass. I about farted. That would've been so great. I was gonna poke your butt. No. Oh. Oof. I so bad. Yep. Ariana, thank you for this pool. That was a good time. I'm gonna be hanging out in this shit oh, all yeah. summer. As long as it's holding water, I'm hanging out in this As shit. I said, I love you. And I'm gonna go behind the garage. Excuse me. I'm a little pruny and that's okay. That dirt all over me. Uh, that's okay. That's why you go take a shower after or something. I know. I took a shower right before. I was like, I'm going to take a shower after too. I don't know why I'm taking a shower. Mm. Excuse me. My water says so. Dude, I dig your uh, trunks. Yeah. Like I said, the uh, 
you're talking about your pineapple ones on the thing. I'm like, oh, that'd be great. <laughs> like, I was going to wear my uh, my pink uh, Skull Island uh, button down, sit in the pool with it, couldn't find it. The nerdy like, okay, pineapples. What? The nerdy pineapple. Yeah. <laughs> that was hot. I like it. Hi! I'm not naked. I am wearing shorts. Like, put your feet, let your feet go forward, and you just, like, float, whatever, you know? And as soon as I get out, like, it looked fine. A hoodie. Dude, we should... To go and I was like, I fucking want. Never found. And how are they supposed to behave around other people's pets? Well, like, you know... I did see a FedEx guy. Amazon guy? Flight. 